can't feel it and you can't taste it. But it's here, right now, all around us. That 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time would be regarded as an act of war. Act of war? I think that his family is blissfully oblivious to what's going on. These two are not worried at all. <laughs> They're very hopeful. They take about 30 minutes to reach their target. So do theirs. So they've got 30 minutes before their lives just start flashing right in front of their eyes. Where are people going to actually run to? Ooh. Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you're doing very well. This is Jay. It has been suggested to for me to watch this movie by many of you over at Patreon and also at, in YouTube to watch this movie called Mad Max and it is supposed to be post-apocalyptic kind of movie so before I do that I was informed I was told that there are movies where they actually discuss about nuclear war so I thought I'll give them a shot first before I go to watch something like the Mad Max so because of that for today's one like I said this has been proposed to me and it is day after from 1983 so I have been told it is a movie that was a TV movie so I have watched TV series but I don't think I've ever watched a TV movie per se again these are all the information that was shared by my patrons or a patreon and it was supposed to be something that actually made a huge impact in world politics eventually this movie and um, it had an impact on the fact the Soviet Union, the America and even the NATO countries, the way they looked at nuclear war, you know, and how they actually stepped down after they realized or how much of an impact it will have, a negative impact it will have. So th this is really cool. I mean, if it made such a huge difference in the normal world, in the normal people's life, a movie I mean, that is responsible movie making, right? And then if you think that way, I can understand why it may have been a TV movie. One thing, yes, it could have had a smaller budget, but at the same time, a TV movie may have a, a wider outreach compared to it being in the cinema because if it is a cinema movie then you the viewer have to make a choice and uh, to go and watch it but if it was aired on tv in 1983 mo most of the houses had their tvs anyway so they may have had the opportunity to watch it at the comfort of home and i was told that it really impacted people immensely so I'm just thinking what it is going to be because it is day after. So I guess this is going to discuss the after effects of a nuclear war because it is day after. I'm not sure whether it is going to discuss about the nuclear explosion itself. Maybe not. Just looking at the title, I'm just, just trying to think. But anyway, thank you so much to all my YouTube viewers for your support here and for tuning in today to watch this one so if you like the video do not forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet i hope you consider doing so and as always you can find all of my full length reactions along with full commentary over at patreon so without further ado let's join to see day after from 1983. generals aboard Good morning everybody stand easy please higher headquarters missions being flown today, we have one flying from Hickam to Kadena. The president is located at Camp David. Commander-in-Chief of Europe is out of position until the 21st. Vice Sink Sack is at Andrews for the day. He'll be back later this evening in approximately 1900. Uh, you might pay particular note to the uh, nuclear submarines off the east and west coast. The Sack Airborne Command Post with a communications check. How do you hear me? And I'll be able to complete the review of those airplanes. Yes, Ambassador Shepard told him that explanation was unacceptable and called the action provocative. Ambassador Karajan? Provocative. 
You call us provocative? When your Americans have 260,000 soldiers, 7,000 nuclear weapons poised on the other side of our border. A lot of kids are born with it, but we can do something about it these days. Now, here's the problem. The septa don't meet properly. The aorta is rising from the right ventricle and the pulmonary from the left. We go in here and make a nice little hole between the two sides of the heart to allow the blood to carry enough oxygen to the rest of the body. Hello, Joe. What did you have for lunch? Oh, I had turkey with yam. Nurse says she's giving me some ice cream, but she didn't come back. You heard the man. Let's find him his ice cream. <laughs> hey, any of you guys hear anything about an alert? Not this weekend, buddy. I can use a nice quiet weekend. Weekend hell, buddy. I've got 30 days. Me and Maureen's gonna take Skip on down to New Orleans. Dan's gonna kick my butt if we're late for this. Would you hurry? My hair is gonna be a mess. Get off. Okay, let's go. Yeah! I know Bruce, he is gonna make a grand entrance. We should have told her to come with us. Well, they probably just wanted a little privacy. Privacy? <laughs> oh, Jolene, that's disgusting. What did I tell you? Oh, they're heading to church. I'm a kicked or what? Where have you two been? Hey, Mom. Sorry, Miss Dolbert. <laughs> Hi, Reverend Walker. Put this in your pocket till I ask you for it. You got that? Yeah, you bet. Shall we all get started? Mm. Oh, that's less. Mm. Is it a real soap or a wedding? No. Is it a real wedding? No site checks due, sir, and no problems with the personnel, no weather problems. Sounds good. Scam Stanton, ready to authenticate. Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, Victor. How's it going? Good. How's the weather top side? Oh, just fine. Excellent. How you doing? What do you have for us today? Uh, everything looks to be normal. All the sorties are clean and green, with the exception of Oscar 11. You have maintenance on site for two more hours. Gee, Dad, your schedule's busier than the president's. Maybe I should run for office. What? Do I have to make an appointment for open-heart surgery or something to get an hour with you? Hey, what's eating you, fruitcake? I'm sorry, I'm just jumpy. Come on, I'm taking you someplace you work right next to, and I bet never been inside in 15 years. Well, come on. Sometimes it's hard to know how to experience a Chinese landscape because the artist doesn't tell you where you're watching from because he wants you to be in the landscape, a part of it, not out here <laughs> looking at it. You mean a God's eye point? Yes, if by God you mean everywhere in, inside sort of thing, yeah. Look at that funny in-between look. In-between what? In-between knowing whether you should tell me something or not. I'm moving to Boston. How come? See, that's why I didn't want to tell you right away. I have to deal with your hurt feelings and mom's, not well, just... Well, all I asked was why. Pop, it's time for me to leave home. But you haven't been living at home for two years. An apartment 26 blocks away isn't exactly Independence, Missouri, you know. Of course, uh, choosing Boston wouldn't have anything to do with, uh, what's his name? Gary. Gary, uh, starting Tufts Medical this fall. No. <laughs> well, maybe a little. But it's not like we're going to be living together or anything. At least not right away. <laughs> Growing up, it's like growing apart. Maybe it's a natural phenomenon. Have you told your mother? Uh, tomorrow. I thought I'd start with you and work my way up. Oh, I'm easy. <laughs> Easier. <laughs> it's not so easy, you know. What? Saying goodbye. Man, if I go rebooking that plane ticket, man, I'm gonna lose my super set. Don't know why you're flying down to New Orleans for anyway. You ought to drive down. Yeah, I think on. the fathers are expected to just take it as it is when the mothers will be the ones who become emotional, gets very cranky, and they try to show their emotions a lot more than the fathers. Not that fathers don't feel it. They too equally feel it, and they don't want to let go, but... Okay. Come on, you guys. Kitty, come on. Right, right. <laughs> Is that a dirk that they've got in the field? Looks like it, yeah. Hey, get my bag, will you? What they say is wrong with this thing anyway. Won't fly. <laughs> hey, Willie, you got a silo here, man. Mommy, can I make cookies? You can't make cookies. You're only four. <laughs> you could show me. Sure, kids, go ahead, but clean up. Since NATO's insistence on positioning medium-range Pershing 2s and cruise missiles in Europe has uh, caused Great Britain to reevaluate its own nuclear commitment, scrub it all together if the Labour Party had its way, the real fear is 
that when the chips are down and the red lights blinking, the United States won't really want to sacrifice Chicago for Hamburg. According to NATO intelligence reports, as of this morning, there are now three Soviet tank divisions poised along the Fulda Gap. The United States issued a strong protest regarding the Soviet presence in an emergency session of the UN Security Council this morning. Responded to indirectly this afternoon by Soviet foreign ministers meeting in Brussels for trade talks with a common market. The Soviet foreign minister claims the United States had the cart before the horse. Where's Alan? <clears throat> no, he's over at Jackson's having supper. They had a varsity scrimmage at seven. Well, he doesn't spend much time around here, does he? Who does? Looks like I'm here. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Thank you. Thought you taught hematology at Lawrence tonight. Sam's taking my classes for me. I'm uh, going out tomorrow afternoon. We'll go to the movies tonight. Hmm? Go to the Fern Hill Drive-In. <laughs> oh, what if he just stayed in? Yeah, suits me fine. Light a few candles, put on some raunchy music. <laughs> what has gotten into you? What, you don't like my ideas? Just that you're... Oh, you've been talking to Meryl. Yeah. She told me about the scholarship in uh, Boston. She said you were just marvelous about it. I handled myself pretty well. <laughs> it's good to see her so excited about the move. Is that what's important? How excited she is? She'd follow Gary in that old rattle trap to Nome or New Mexico. She only applied to Boston because hey, he wait was... Wait a minute, let me turn this no, up. Please, minute, listen. The blockade of West Berlin continues. The action follows reports earlier this evening of widespread rebellion among several divisions of the East German Army, closing the four principal West German access corridors at Lauenburg, Helmstedt, Erlischhausen, and Rudolfstein. I don't believe this is happening. Do you want to go in the living room and watch? No. What do they think is happening? I just want to go upstairs get into bed with you. Nani's got some kind of stag party playing, Vinny. So tonight's the last night we'll see each other till Sunday. Well, it wants ah. to fit my gown. Hey, you know what? No one's up at Arthur's tonight. It's not like we haven't ever made love before, Bruce. Not without you getting sick on the pill or rolling off the haystack. <laughs> They're right over there. Can't you wait two more days? No! You're crazy, you know that? Where is it? Upstairs, in my dressing table drawer. A lot of good it's doing up there. Go get it. <laughs> Come on. Now Warner with a 95 mile an hour fastball in this is challenging McCord. Jolene! Jolene, you give that back to me! Jolene, a little bit low, ball one. One ball and no strike. Come here! East Germany tonight tightened its stranglehold on West Berlin by halting all air traffic in and out of Tegel and Tempelhof airports, severing the city's lifeline to the west. Jolene! Jolene? Siblings always have to be like that. Jolene! Jolene, you open this door right now, I'll never talk to you again. Tomorrow, Berlin time, that 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time would be regarded as an act of war. After an emergency meeting war. with his cabinet and congressional leaders of both parties, President tonight declared all United States military personnel on worldwide stage two alert. Soviet Ambassador Anatoly Karajan was summoned to the White House three quarters of an hour ago. Well, you don't have to tell me. I expect the two of you to settle it amongst yourselves. Otherwise, I'll see that your father settles it for you. Now, Jolene, I could sure use some help with the casseroles when you're through. Give that to me. Press Secretary David Towns reports that both sides are engaged in frank and earnest talks aimed at finding ways to defuse a heightening crisis in Berlin. God, it's 1962 all over again. Cuban Missile Crisis. Do you remember Kennedy on television? Telling Bruce to turn his boats around. Full retaliatory <laughs> response. He didn't bat an eye. We were in New York, in bed, under 18th Street. Meatball sandwiches from Sharkies. Your last year's residency. Yes. Where the we made Maryland that night. We got up, went to the window, looked for the bomb. Didn't happen. It's not going to happen now. People oh. are crazy, but not that crazy. Well, you would be surprised. You know I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. The Donnellys left today for Guadalajara. Guadalajara? I, I swear it. I spoke to her as they were pulling out. Said they were dovetailing their vacation to the rising international tension. <laughs> oh, cut it out. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Well, they took their Vietnamese maid with them. And that rotten little barking <laughs> dog <laughs> on the push -ins. Oh, what about their little uh, combination tractor lawnmower golf cart with the silver hubcaps? <laughs> oh, I hope their wish comes true, but I don't think this movie's up for it. What do we do? Exactly.
I think that his family is blissfully oblivious to what's going on. You told me nothing like this was ever gonna happen. Maureen is just an alert, that's all. I mean, we're gonna run around and check things twice instead of one. Well, what am I gonna tell my mom? She's got the house all set, a room for Skip and... Well, why don't you go on down? No, no, I'm serious, honey. Why don't you just take Skip, go on down to your mother's, and then I'll just join you when this whole thing is over. That's just great. Why is his job? Don't make a fuss. I know I'm not making this any easier on you. No, exactly. I love you. I love you too, Maureen. Just, look, just five and a half months. That's it. Five and a half months and I'll be out the service. I'll be working 40 hours a week, making 17 50 per hour. You taking everything you got? Damn it, Maureen, it's an alert. It is four sets of everything. It's just strictly by the book. I'm scared as what? Well. Maureen, there's nothing to worry about. I'm going to be right next door and I'm going to call you every night. What do you say, you and me get some breakfast? The White House today issued a strong denial that the United States contemplated any unilateral military action in response to the deteriorating situation in East Germany. Press Secretary David Towns, speaking for the President, unequivocally stated the administration's support for the NATO Pact alliance. I think they are, he's really worried. These two are not worried at all. <laughs> They're very hopeful. Up. Where in hell have you been? Don't you just walk right by me when you hear me asking you a question. What are you doing sneaking in here? I never sneak. Then why didn't you come in the back door? <laughs> I didn't even know the door was unlocked, Daddy. I've been out with Bruce riding around. Riding around? All night? Frankly, Daddy, that's none of your business. As long as you live. Oh, under... Daddy, please don't say that, because I'm getting married tomorrow. Jolene, you get back in there and stop eavesdropping. I'm not eavesdropping. I'm just waiting for you to finish up so I can get back to the bathroom. Well, use the one outside the kitchen, honey. Water's freezing out there. Well, hurry it up for Pete's sake. Can't you see that we're talking? The whole world's just holding its breath to hear what you're talking about. Honey, let's just forget what I said. You're no sneak. That's a very sweet father. My father wouldn't be that easy, wouldn't have been that easy <laughs> if he saw me sneaking like that. You got a boy out there? Yeah, yeah, number 80, Alan Oaks. Oh, yeah, I've been watching him. Got good aim. You have a son playing? Yeah, Doug Holland, number 68. Yeah, he's only a sophomore. Yeah, he's born guard, though, you know. Stocky, all heart. I try not to miss a practice when I'm not on the road. I don't like to embarrass them by hanging around the bench. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm, I'm Doug Sr. Oh, Russ Soaps, nice to meet you. Same here. See you, Doug. Okay, bye. Oh. After heavy fighting or advancing under air support two miles along the E8 Bundesstrasse corridor past Marienborn toward Berlin, French news agency has received conflicting reports of East German resistance and heavy casualties. But ground observers have confirmed that two Soviet-built MiG-25s invaded West German airspace, firing several air-to-ground missiles at a NATO munitions storage facility, and also hitting a school and hospital outside of Würzburg. There is a rumor they are evacuating Moscow. Yeah. There are even people leaving Kansas City because of the missile. Field. Where does one go from Kansas City? To uh, Yukon? Tahiti? We are not talking about Hiroshima anymore. Hiroshima was was peanuts. Very true. Do you understand what's going on in this world? Yeah. Stupidity. Yeah. Has a habit of getting its way. Oh, thank you. The city of Moscow is being evacuated. The city of Moscow is being evacuated. It is not just Russia. Russia is being evacuated. Russia is being evacuated. It is not generally known in Washington at the present time whether the evacuation order indicates the entire population of Moscow. Sam. Yeah. We're stuck, girls. Probably stuck in traffic on the I-70. Yeah, haven't you heard? The one's gone fishing. Who's in charge? Good question. Montoya's in KC, and Julian wants staff informed of emergency procedures in case a general metro evacuation is ordered. See, I'm just a resident with 120 freshman bodies to examine. Unfortunately, most of them male. Yeah, I wonder where we're going to be next week. Somewhere in the upper atmosphere. <laughs> Name? Stephen Klein. K-L-E. Japanese. Age? Uh, 19. Residence? Joplin? No, I mean on campus. Oh, uh, Davidson Ford. 
He doesn't look any 19. He's shooting baskets at the Y. Uh, he knows better. This is my second false alarm from 10 days early. Where's yours? My what? Your husband. Oh, he's trying to catch a plane out right about now. Where is everybody? They're all watching the news. Say, I saw a ticker and Judy Francis taking off. Thumbs out, backpacks and all. What are you doing here? Holding my place in line. If I don't get into Bowman's metallurgy class this semester, I'm not going to graduate in January. What's going on? They say the Russians just invaded West Germany. Having already captured NATO advanced positions along the West German border, the looming question is, how far will Warsaw Pact forces go? Will the Russians advance straight for the Rhine and defy NATO's declared policy of defense by all means, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons? You think this is war of the world or something? Look, did we help the Czechs, the Hungarians, Hungarians, the Afghans, or the Poles. Well, we're not going to nuke the Russians to save the Germans. You know, I think I'm going to hitch home, see my folks, and I'll see what's happening on Monday. Everybody is leaving. You job one? Hey, son, hop in. I'll give you a ride. Oh, great. I think you borrowed the Missouri. Make it pretty, Ollie. This is my last trim as a free man. <laughs> I'm getting married tomorrow. Well, congratulations. Well, who knows? The president's speaking on television at 6 tonight. He's Maybe he'll over. tell us something new. Well, they'll tell us what they want us to hear over who's real estate. Say we explode a nuclear bomb over their troops on our side. The fallout had better not drift over to their side. They're crazy. How do they expect it's going to stop with just one bomb? You want to know what crazy is? Crazy's not staying out of other people's business. We shouldn't be over there in the first place. Well, maybe they'll contain it. After all, I've still got symphony tickets for tonight. The thing that bothers me is that damn launch on warning. That's when one side tells the other that they're going to fire their missiles as soon as they think the other guy's missiles are already on the way. Well, you know, use you... them or lose them. What do you really think the chances of something like that happening way the hell out here in the middle of nowhere? Nowhere? There's no nowhere anymore. You're sitting next to the Whiteman Air Force Base right now. That's about 150 Minuteman missile silos spread halfway down the state of Missouri. An awful lot of bullseyes. All persons in transit in Kansas City metropolitan area are advised to... Where is he going? Jim, why don't you go home now? The Reverend's got a lot more. Well, I know, I know, but you've got plenty to do at home. What good right. does the dirt do? Get on in the truck, son. Tell us I'm gonna cut on out now. Good luck to you. As soon as we get home, you line up some milk jugs. About a half a dozen of them, put them beside the water pump. Gonna fill them with water and take them down the cellar. Yes, sir. My, my kids just left on the camping Both? trip. I don't know how I'm going to, what I'm going to. Please. Hey, one minute now. Don't panic. The panic has begun. Any more news? We just hit one of our ships in the Persian Gulf. The, the Russians, what do you think? We hit them back, one of their ships, you know? Sarah, can you wash up for lunch? I'm gonna pour your milk. Those clouds hurry them open up. Use one more good rain for the cut. Hey, did you kids hear me? Shh, wait a few minutes. Oh, honey, the biscuits. <laughs> that three nuclear weapons uh, in the low kiloton range were airburst morning over advancing Soviet troops. And that both sides are working together to bring about the earliest possible cease. Two eight clear ground. National post check one. Two meter up. The State Department says the president is presently in direct communication with Soviet Premier. Hi. Nuclear bomb of undetermined strength has exploded at regional NATO military headquarters. <laughs> Don't you know there's pretty much a national emergency going on? It's just gonna have to go on without me because your daughter is getting married tomorrow and I got 67 miles to feed. I hope so. But first we gotta get some things into the cellar. I think there's a tornado coming. Daddy, the man on the radio said there might be a war. He's saying how we should unplug all our radio and TV and stuff. There's not going to be a war, is there? <laughs> They're covering with the dirt, the glasses, windows. I think you better rush home.
There's no way to run to. There's no other non-city area in this country. Five, two, two. Captain, this is Oscar 11. We just started, sir, why? Let's enable the missiles. Program Roger. flight switch. Enable. Water ball. Elephant ball. So they are going to launch this? He turn on my mark. Standing by. Five, four. I want you to take those tarps and canvases down in the basement, like I told you. And stay there with Jolene, you understand? Yes, Daddy. Evie, don't bother with the bed just now. Evie, we've got to get down below. Listen, those yes. missiles have all gone off. He's trying not to admit it, that this is a reality. <laughs> Down there, shut down the radio launch. Radio went out. Radio's out. Last thing I heard was they knocked out two of our radar warning stations. Beale Air Force Base, California, and somewhere in England. Can you believe it? They stacked them. They pushed all the buttons. You know what that means, don't you? Either we fired first and they're going to try to hit what's left, or they fired first and we just got our missiles out of the ground in time. Either way, we're going to get hit. What are we still standing around here for? I got to get my wife and my kid. We're still on alert, Billy. No one leaves this facility. Oh, come Not until on, the man. Choppers Who are you kidding? Me? You kidding me, man? The bombs will be here before the choppers will. The war is over. We've done our job. So what are you still guarding? Huh? Some cotton picking hole in the ground, all dressed up and nowhere to go? He's right. Mm -hmm. I hear you saying that we got direct orders to be sitting ducks. Guys, we got There's a ladder inside that chair. So what? They're still behind an eight-ton steel door. Enough food and water for two weeks. They're not going to let you in there. There's still that little room off the elevator. The direct hit will take out the main shaft and boil and start, too. Well, I'd rather take my chance down there. What are they going to do, actually? <laughs> Come on, Billy, this was your idea. No, not the hole in the ground was my idea. Yeah. Yeah, sure, man. Come on, make up your mind. Because you're either going to crawl down in that hole or you're going to shoot me in the back. So what does the book say, bozo? <laughs> Miniman missiles. Like a test, sort of. Like a warning? They're on their way to Russia. They take about 30 minutes to reach their target. So do theirs. So they've got 30 minutes before their lives just start flashing right in front of their eyes. Major Reinhardt, we have a massive attack against the U.S. nest at this time. ICBMs. Numerous ICBMs. Over 300 missiles inbound now. How many ICBMs have they fired? <laughs> Where are people going to actually run to? Oh. Hey. Oh, come on, baby, don't die on me now. Oh. Oh, here we go. Where is he running? Ooh. Here we go. This is it. People have been pulverized. Ho, 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 ho. That's Rusty. Dad, you left Rusty. 
We might be down here a long time. There's not going to be enough food and water for Rusty. You mean he's just going to die out there? So that was not really the day after today is the day after, I believe. We're going to have to get used to things oh. being a lot different. What matters is we're alive and we're together. Ah. It smells awful. How long will we have to stay down here? I don't know. I don't know anything about radiation. What's radiation? I don't think it's going to work. The broadcasting center. For now. The museum in the basement, if it still works. These are getting scarcer than hen's teeth. We only need one for the short wave. Everybody will have to learn it. Oh, this is expensive. horrible. I think his family has perished as well. What do you think? It comes. Help us out here. I don't know. Can't I see? Where's Dr. Montoya? Uh, go on. Julian. Uh, upstairs, putting out time. Very shock or scary. Some radio waves? She's got all the radiological equipment. What did you see? Listen, why don't we have any emergency power here? Oh, are they going to check the radiation? What did you see? You come from yeah, Kansas yeah, yeah. City. What did you see? Radiation. I was on the freeway, about 30 miles away. I'm not sure. It was high in the air, directly above downtown, like the sun exploded. Taking you into the hall, it'll what? be safer there. Julian, Julian. Folks, thank God you know, listen, there are only a handful of doctors on duty. I'm down to about a quarter of the hospital staff. You've got to get the uninjured in the shelters in the campus building. Is he older? I don't know, seems to be. Well, how many were there? Two, Kansas City, there are more to the south. What about Sedalia? <laughs> what do you do? I'm overdue. Unless you're seriously injured, could you please go to one of the other campus buildings? We have to clear the area for those people that are the serious <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Dude, this is fallout. It's not that great for you to head out. You shouldn't be heading out. Listen to me. We need your help. This is a hospital. Those of you not seriously ill are in work with our staff. Now, this work will be dangerous. We have to do it. We tried hooking up an auxiliary pump to a backup generator, and we're still only getting a trick. I still don't understand. They could have been subject to the EMP effects. What's that? Electromagnetic pulse. When a large nuclear device is airburst at a high altitude, a lot of electrical disruption can be created, principally with radios, communication systems, electrical wires, computers, cars, transistors. Of course, it's all theoretical. It's never happened before. In short, very little electricity. Forever. You'll have to find the nearest hand pump and chain gang of water. Nobody's going to go out there and expose themselves to... We have to have water. How are we going to operate? Wait a minute. Sit tight for a couple of days. What about fuel to boil water, heat food, sterilize surgical instruments? What about bringing in wood? You can't burn wood that's been contaminated. Just put radiation right back in the air. What about bottled gas? Some butane, but no more than about three days' worth. for some water. Have you got another cellar out in the barn? Look, I'll die out here. Let him stay, Jim. Sure. Not to be 20 people pounding on the door. Well, they won't. They're all dead. I'm the last one. Look, I'll help you yes, any way you so. want. I even brought my own food. I can... Well, get on down here. Shut that door first. <laughs> Jolene, cut that light off. Save it for when we need it. Just wanted to see who it was. All right. My name's Steven. We're the Dahlbergs. I'm Eve. It's Jim, Denise, Jolene, and uh, Danny. He looked at one going off. Flash blinded. He burned his retinas. What do you know about it? Not a whole lot. Pre-med over at KU. But, but you're from Lawrence, so maybe Bruce is all right. Well, I don't know what happened to Lawrence. I was close to Harrisonville when it started. Five or six of them to the north, a whole string of them to the south. All right. You've been in shelter the past few days. Last night, we slept in a chicken coop in Lone Jack. Believe. But otherwise, you've been outside since. Hold still. It's making a martyr of yourself. 
Do you know what's going to happen next around here? I'm trying not to think about it. We may be the only hospital operating within 100 miles. Uh, uh, Everyone half alive or dying will find their way here. Would you like to become a dentist? <laughs> what are you thinking? I wonder who was spared. I wonder if New York, Paris, Moscow are just like Kansas City now. Good point. Character read into your future. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? This is Lawrence. Is anybody there? This is Joe Huxley. I'm broadcasting out of the science building at the University of Kansas. I have an atmosphere report for anybody who's listening. Come in, Dr. Oaks. Do you hear me? We were holding fast at just a hair under uh, 50 rads per hour. I thought that it would have diminished by now. But I guess that means we're picking up a lot of fallout from Titan missile bases. Wichita, wherever else, out west, the way the wind blows. Straight towards St. Louis. When will it be safe to move people to other buildings? It'll never be safe. Come on, Joe. Well, it gets down to under two rads an hour. Oh. If and when. Have you picked up anybody else on your, on your end? Not so. This is Lawrence. This is Lawrence, Kansas. Is anybody there? Anybody at all? That's the first time you've closed your eyes in three days. I do it when you're not looking. You look terrible. You sound just like my wife. You should eat a piece of this orange. Maybe the last orange you see for... In a lifetime. A week and a half. When you close your eyes, start remembering. Remembering what? My son. Catching a pass. Daughter staring at a painting. I... It's an accident. I'd be in here. I hadn't come back to teach my hematology class. I'd be in Kansas City with Ravy. Oh, rave on. Please. I never imagined you. <sighs> Look at that. Impervious. What? It's radiation. You are looking at man's legacy. The only guaranteed survivor of a nuclear <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Danny. I want you to I'm eat. I'm not hungry. Denise. Eat this, otherwise it'll go bad. Jolene. Oh. The battery went dead. Where are the matches? Okay. What is it? Day or night? Day, I think. What day? Wednesday. It's Thursday, 2.30. I wonder if it's sunny out. I can't remember. I can't remember what? It's only been five days, and I can't remember what Bruce looks like. And now we all been through a lot, sitting here in the dark. What are we doing down here anyway? It's all over, isn't it? It smells so bad down here, I can't even breathe! Now listen, Denise, you get a hold of yourself now. You know that we cannot go out of here and... Why did I have to use that thing? We'd be married by now anyway. Why didn't I at least get pregnant? Just pipe down, Denise. Because now I can't even see his face! I can't see anything! I can't see anything! Let go of me! I can't see! <laughs> I'll get it. No, Jim. She. Mm. See, there's nothing wrong out here. It's a beautiful day. No, it only looks that way. Oh no. These guys are breathing in the radiation. Hey, you can't see it. You can't feel it, and you can't taste it. <laughs> but it's here, right now, all around us going through you like an x-ray right into your cells. What do you think killed all these animals? Where you going? Hold it. Oh, yeah? How come? People there. How do you know? Man with a CB back in Leeton. You from Leeton? How's Sedalia? I, I said, how's Sedalia? There ain't no Sedalia. No Green Ridge, no Windsor, no nothing. Seventeen people died in here this evening. I would say that we are running a serious 
collar or wrist. Say nothing of the bodies. Move the terminal radiation patients back into the wardrooms, make them as comfortable as possible, and I'll talk to Joe Huxley about the rad situation. So we're running very low on morphine. There's been quite a lot of stealing going on. They're stealing food from the kitchen. Don't let anyone else in. Put on extra guards if you have to. How can we care for people if we have no control? Doctor, have you heard about firing squads? Anything about firing squads? What are you talking about? The shooting people? Before. Looting, hijacking, rape, murder? Without a trial? It's nonsense. That's crazy. Go back to work. us, man, if we don't get to Lawrence. You hear me? Hey, that's legal tender, by the way. They got a hospital in Lawrence. Oh, they're heading that way, too. Dr. Montoya discussed cesarean section with you. Just waiting on here like everybody else. Who knows what for? Maybe that's why you're two weeks overdue. Two weeks? If you were in utero and you had any choice about the matter, would you be dying to be born into a world like this? I think your baby's deciding whether or not to be born. <laughs> You think I'm holding back by force of will, Dr. Oaks? I think you've got to be willing to let your baby come, whether you like it or not. You're holding back hope. Hope for what? What do you think's gonna happen out there? You think we're gonna sweep up the dead and fill in a couple of holes and build some supermarkets? You think all those people left alive out there are gonna say, oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault. Let's kiss and make up. We knew the score. We knew all about bombs. We knew all about fallout. We knew this could happen for 40 years. Nobody was interested. I can't argue with you. Argue with me. Please, give me a reason. Tell me about hope. Tell me why you work so hard in here. I don't know. She has really valid points. Really, if you have to give birth to a child in a situation like that, I don't know what... what to really think about. In her dream. Uh oh. Corn will be a total loss. Should have harvested ten days ago. Cows can't graze. Contaminate the milk as well as themselves. Lucky to be alive. We'll see how lucky that is. Name? McCoy. William. Airman First Class. Home? Whiteman Air Force Base, Sedalia, Missouri. This is my friend. Yeah, one at a time. He can't talk. What's your injury? I uh, I can't keep nothing in. Not even my own hair. Um, I got I got I got these bruises like all on, all on my arms. See, and it's real bad. Look, see, see, look, see, look, look at Cody. See, Cody's got them all up his arm. Like, look, I know we got radiation sickness. The only question is, is there anything that we can do about it? The radiation count is now 0.4 rads an hour, which is considered safe for limited exposure outdoors. I urge all of you not suffering from specific physical injury to seek fresh shelter in campus buildings. I, I wonder how many days it has been since the whole explosion. There was a great earthquake, and the, uh, the sun became black as sackcloth. And a third of the earth was burnt up, a third of the trees and all the green grass. And then from the smoke came locusts on the earth with the power of scorpion. And they were told, they were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any green tree, but only those who have not the seal of God upon their foreheads. Now are we here today counted among God's servants? We give thanks to thee, 
O oh Lord God Almighty, for rewarding thy servants and those who fear thy name, both great and small, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. That is County's closed down. There's a university hospital in Lawrence. I don't know. That's awful far. Well, it's her only chance, and Danny's too. Look, you stay here. She's my daughter. I'm going to bring him back. It's a bit difficult as a father. What's going on? Eve, we're going to have to try to get her up here a little more secure. I'm going to try to put her feet in here. Yeah, Maybe you could help me with yeah, her let head. Me, let me get up right here. Oh, right here. Would you please? Just, just lie right down. There. There. Right. Mm -hmm. It's your dad. Daddy loves you. What do you see? Oh, cows. Telephone poles, usual stuff. Danny can't see a thing. <laughs> Have you seen what's going on out there? Yes. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to let him in, Paul. Many as we can. <laughs> President of the United States. My fellow Americans, while the extent of damage to our country is still uncertain and shall probably remain so for some time, preliminary reports indicate that principal weapons impact point looted military and industrial targets in most sectors of the United States. There is, at the present time, a ceasefire with the Soviet Union. Many of you listening to me today have suffered personal injury, sudden separation from loved ones, tragic loss of your family. I share your grief, for I too have suffered personal loss. During this hour of sorrow, I wish to assure you that America has survived this terrible tribulation. There has been no surrender from the principles of liberty and democracy for which the free world looks to us for leadership. We remain undaunted before all but Almighty God, the government. Functioning under certain extraordinary emergency options, we are prepared to make every effort to coordinate relief and recovery programs at the state and local level. During the next two weeks, my staff and cabinet will attempt to relocate to National Emergency Reconstruction Headquarters. And until radiation pattern reports are made available, I urge you to remain in areas offering maximum shelter protection and to obey all local curfews. Hey, maybe we're going to be okay. What do you want to hear? I want to know who started it, who fired first, who preempted. What difference does it make? Yeah, what difference? He doesn't know how badly we were hit. He sure would have told us that they would have fired first. You believe everything they tell you? You know what Einstein said about World War III? He said he didn't know how they were going to fight World War III, but he knew how they would fight World War IV. Sticks and stones. Dr. Oates, we have to contend with the number of bodies, the time required for each individual burial. Dr. Oates. Dr. Oates. Dr. Oates. Doctor, you want surgery? You already five minutes late. Doctor, are you all right? You got a boy out there? Number eighty, Alan Oates. We're all Sad. changing, Daddy. Stupidity. Don't you see? Does it help? Stupidity. Does it help? It's hard to know that way? experience of Chinese landscape. Why we do? Hiroshima was peanuts. Because the artist wants to be in the landscape. This is Lawrence. Yeah. Alan. Good night, Alan. Oh, this must be the hospice. Probably thinks I'm dying. Maybe I am. Maybe we're all dying. Nurse! Nurse! I, I can't find my shirt! I looked. I've got your shirt. No, no, I, I can't find my shirt. I, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. No, no. Looking at this, I think the ones who had to go up early were the lucky ones. Hi. Give me a hand. We're running out of body pads. Trash can line us instead. <coughs> That's it. No more. I've got three chips of powdered milk and two kids at home having these since the day before yesterday. I'm sorry, lady. There's no more food in there. That's for the other camp. Help! Oh, 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 oh. Doctor, you sure don't talk like one. <laughs> well, um, actually, I'm the pizza man. <laughs> What's your name? Sam. Sam Hachia. What kind of name's that? What's it sound like? Uh, Italian. There you go. Hey, what do you know? Sam Hachia Pizzeria. <laughs> when can I see my sister? That depends, kiddo. You stay here. 
I'll be back. I'm not going any place. So, what we want you to do now is burn out your current crops, start decontaminating the soil, and plan next spring's planting. Crop selection must consider plants least susceptible to ultraviolet radiation and yields for human rather than animal consumption. Excuse me, Mel, but how do you go about decontaminating the soil? Chiefly wait for the fallout to decay to safe enough levels to either plow under or scrape off the top layer. How do you know what safe is? Good point. Uh, we'll have a uh, NERA task force advising each county agricultural cooperative. <laughs> Where the hell do you think they're coming from? We're just going to have to channel animal feed to human need. Except for uh, uh, dairy cows that pass muster in certain poultry. Can you explain what you mean by scraping off the top layers of my topsoil? You just take the top four or five inches of your topsoil. Yeah, and do what with it? We're talking 150, maybe 200 acres of man in here. Suppose you find a hole where you can drop all this dead dirt. So we're talking a catastrophe here, not life as usual. Now, the National Emergency Reconstruction Administration's primary goal is to establish order and to aid you in salvaging your resources for the country at large. I think you should look at it like more like not even an acre at the time, half an acre, then just collect it, just slowly, slowly doing it. What do I know? I'm just thinking. What's going on down there? What do you think you're doing down there? Who? Hey. Who are you folks? This is my home. Why did he do... Why did he do that? Where's Nurse Bauer? Oh, what? Meningitis. You know, I shouldn't go back to work right away. Doctor's orders? Right. I'll take some time off. See the sights. <laughs> sure. Take yourself a little vacation. Nice time of the year, fall. Where do you think I'm going? Kansas City. I'm curious. Don't you wonder about it? I don't think so. I'm not going back there. Why don't you come with me? They probably won't let you back in anyway. I want to see my home before I die. Where is your home? Fire. Okay. All right, all right. Get the bandages back on. Take your hands down. Here they go. Okay. Okay. This isn't gonna work, is it? <clears throat> it hasn't been that long, Danny. Um, <laughs> the nurse may still go back. Uh... Your voice is shaking. I'd like to go home now. I want to be with my mom and dad. Dad is no more, kid. Oh. Daddy. <coughs> I'll take you. Steven, what about Denise? We're all going home, okay? Come on. Is she? Thank you. So the hair, he's losing. You're not really Italian, are you? No. So where are you from? Kansas City. <coughs> Sim, a basketball court? You look like you fell off your bike. Niece, I had a hard time finding you here. How's Danny? He's okay. What about his eyes? The doctor says that I'll be able to take you home in a couple of days. Phone's working? <sighs> Are you kidding? There are gonna be any phones. They, they gave me this ribbon to wear, but I haven't got any damn hair to put it into. <laughs> you look great. Oh, like mummified. All rubble. Trying to remove a ring. So <laughs> her traumatized. How many weeks is the baby overdue? Helen. Who's that? Get out of my house. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't you hear me? I told you to get out of my house. Oh. 
Hello friends, so I just finished watching The Day After. What a wonderful movie. This should be made to address real world issues. It was really a scary thought. If it is to happen, how it would have panned out. It's really scary, but at the same time, I'm sure at the time gave people and the people in power and the decision makers an idea what it actually can be. I think the people who are in power and the decision makers and the intellects, you know what it can mean, but when everything is congested into one video like this, it impacts you, right? It's just a, a cruel reminder, this is what it can be. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that after seeing this, this movie actually had an impact on the global politics and actually helped curb a possible event like that. I do not wish, I really hope this does not come to a point again in our lifetime or in our children's lifetime or whenever this will ever happen. This will be really sad. I mean, I, I really appre I appreciate this movie going to the lengths of trying to make it as realistic as possible because they actually took the action to pay so much attention to what steps will be taken in the military end if they are to launch all these ICBMs from all the bases in the US and we expect the same what must have been happening from the Russia end, right? I mean, people, e even if it is today and this is going to happen, we would try to console ourselves. No, it would not happen. This is all uh, just a bit of a, you know, big uh, noise that is going on, but it won't happen. That's what the doctor's wife was trying to console herself with. But it was alarming for them, definitely. They were concerned, they were worried about it. And then when it really happened, I mean, what's the purpose? It, it was really sad when people were just going back to their houses where the houses were and it's all rubble and then say, get out of here, this is my house. I, I mean, we all need, I, we all want that belongingness that stability right we all want to feel like we still have this thing that we just lost maybe but then it's it's at the same time it sounds really funny like what are you saying is your house what is your house where is it one thing i would appreciate actually is if they could uh, show what it would be like how what day was it like from the blast, how many days it has been kind of a thing. It could have been a bit more valuable as well. Uh, not that it helps. <laughs> if, it, if it happens, it doesn't help. But I just wanted to know that because of the the radiation level that was uh, there at the time and then how it reduced. So I just wanted to know how long it took for those uh, these radiation levels to just dissipate for to that amount not that it it is not going to affect definitely it's going to affect people but uh just wanted to know how uh, how many days it has been kind of a matter it could have been interesting anyway thank you so much for suggesting this movie to me i truly enjoyed it and i have another one of similar uh, capacity which i will be watching very soon and sharing with you and I wonder what it is going to be like. So if you like the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. You can find the full length reaction along with the full commentary over at Patreon. So do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I always love to read your thoughts. And how did you find it? Did you watch this before? When did you watch it? Was it in the 80s itself or was it recently? Please share with me your thoughts and I would love to 
just know your experiences watching this and what you thought about it and anything that you may think if there needs to be an improvement or how it impacted you and and your family or someone watched who watched it at the time i would love to hear that so thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day you do take care of yourselves YouTube back in analytics shows me that sadly only 5 to 6 percent of my viewers watch my videos till the end. That includes all my long and detailed outros that have my quotes, takeaways and my movie commentary. So moving forward, all my YouTube reactions will have much shorter outros and any of you who are interested can watch the full length outro along with my full-length movie reaction over on my patreon page to clarify to everybody a full-length movie reaction means a full movie runs behind in the background while i react to the entire thing therefore it's a combination of the full movie along with my full reaction to it there are no heavy editing in my full-length reactions like you see on the youtube videos because there are no copyright issues the movie is not mirrored no cuts all the dialogue and the music is available along with all the scenes of the movies which are sometimes missing on the youtube videos again due to copyright issues any of you who enjoy my videos over here will definitely like my videos over at patreon where the content is completely ad free and you have early access and also you get to vote what movies I should watch next. So this is just an update for you. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are.